tell me. Do you bleed? You will. With the upcoming Batman v Superman movie, a major question is raised. What exactly is this movie? Do I need to know anything before I see it? Is this a continuation of any other film? Here at the current OC, we aim to answer those questions. Zack Snyder, the director of Batman v Superman, was also the director of the movie Man of Steel. This newest movie by him is considered a continuation of that storyline. Take Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight saga out of the picture and imagine a Batman whose history is the same as in the comics. In this iteration, Batman is an older man grizzled from years of crime fighting. Seeing the destruction in Metropolis, a sister city to Gotham, during Superman's confrontation with General Zod, Batman perceives Superman as a threat to the existence of humanity. Batman vows to destroy him, protect us from his powers. I think Superman's gonna win because he's supposed to be a, be a man without limitations. And Batman has limitations, he's human. Superman, on the other hand, is facing criticism from the public for his part in the attack on Metropolis. The United States government holds him responsible for the destruction of the city. He is branded as a villain by many of the world's most powerful people like Lex Luthor, who states, the devils don't come from hell beneath us. They come from the sky. Well, I mean, if it's just a straight up brawl, then obviously Superman wins. But I mean, uh, Batman has enough time to get hold of some kryptonite. I mean, maybe he stands a fighting chance. I don't know. It is a tough one, but uh, he's just... I think the winner is... Uh, I think his name is... Uh... It's John C. Some ask, how can Batman stand a chance against a man who is nearly invincible? This story of a man pinned against God is a classic archetype throughout history and of mythology and tale. In previous comic book fights, Batman wins through the use of kryptonite. For example, in The Dark Knight Returns Saga, written by 300 author Frank Miller, Batman creates a mechanized armor suit that helps him fight the Man of Steel long enough for Green Arrow to launch an arrow kryptonite at him, crippling Superman, allowing Batman to triumph. Snyder states that much of the art style is inspired by Miller's novel even going far as to have Batman seen in a similar designed armor suit. In essence, this movie is going to be a major break or defeat for DC, ushering the Justice League in a negative or positive way. The comic movie industry dominated by Marvel Cinematic Universe, DC will have to show up with their best work in March to gain interest for their future endeavors with the DC Cinematic Universe. This has been Colin Stewart and John C. and David Delgran reporting for The Current OC.